you know, something is missing here. And I know exactly what it is. It's these string dampeners by 10 point for your crossbow. So let's head on up to the shop and we'll get these installed on the 10 point Titan M1. everybody and welcome to the channel today we are going to install the string dampening system on my 10 point Titan M1 crossbow but before we get started if you're new to the channel hit that like comment and subscribe button don't forget to ring that notification bell so this way you guys could all stay posted when I drop new videos but this string dampening system is specifically made for the 10 point Titan M1 and before you install one on your crossbow, make sure you pick up the right set. Because 10 point I know makes a couple different sets for all their different crossbows. And I'm sure some of the other companies do. Because on the back of this package, it also states what crossbows this is compatible with and what it's not compatible with. So I'm going to bring you guys in here. We're going to tear into this package and see what, what all comes with this. All right, so this is, this is how your pack, package will come. So we'll just get into this and open this up and see what all comes here. You have the dampening system itself and they also give you these couple plastic brackets and a couple bags here. And let's see what sure the instructions for this is in in here put that off to the side yep and they also give you the instructions inside of the packaging so that's pretty cool and then a, a little diagram here of all the parts list and how it goes together so when you get your system out of the kit as you could see on on the, the titan m1 the, the string itself is up closer to the end of the crossbow. Instead of it being back here, it's up here. So with that being said, they give you these smaller rods to go here because if you install it this way, these rods will just be too big and it will bottom out and it'll push your string back here. But what the system is made to do is to, is, is made to, uh, quiet the um the string noise and the isolation of the string and what the isolation is is of the string going back and forth after the shot in turns reduces all the vibration that comes down through the limbs and the cams so what i'm going to start with is separating all of this and we'll just use the allen key that they give you these are uh, these bolts, there's one on each side that you have to separate. And it just separates like that. Just keep them off to the side. And then what I'll do is take these rods out because they also give you four set screws to lock these in, as you can see right here. take out the second one and then what you're going to do is get your shorter rods and these rubber um, dampeners are on the longer ones you're just going to pull them off and we will set these later but for now we are just going to put these on the shorter rods and do both ones and then just put your longer rod back to the side because you'd want to use the longer rods if your strings mount it down here on your crossbow for the other models. And then what we're going to do is get these plastic tabs and inside the channel of your crossbow, you have to look down through here to see um, which bracket goes on what side. Because they give you these two brackets and you want to line it up with inside the channel here. So you want to look down through here. 
to see how these brackets go in. So we're just going to take our time and check this out. The right side of the crossbow is you want the double sided tab on the, the adapter block. And then the single one goes on the left side. And then when, once again, you get your, your bracket and put that in there like so. Then you get your other side and insert that one as well. Then you will get your hex screwdriver or your hex Allen key and you want to tighten, tighten up the, the bolts to the bolt will come down through the bracket. All right, so once you guys got your screw snugged up in there, just give it a nice little snug. And then what you want to do is insert your screw in on the other side. And you want to tighten them down symmetrically to where they come together. So I'm going to get this done, and I'll be right back. So now that you guys have your, your brackets on your crossbow, and they're tightened up, make sure they're equally tightened on each side. And then what I'm going to do is get these dampeners. And I like I told you earlier, is I took them off the bigger rods. And you want to put them on the smaller rods because they give you two size rods. And then they give you the smaller Allen set for the set screws. So what I'm going to do is just eyeball this up and just put the, the groove of the dampener on the string and see where it's going to fall at. And it's going to fall pretty much well tight up against all the way down tied up against the string. So we're going to try that and see how it works out. And all you do with these is just lift up on your string a little bit and just screw these all the way in. As you can see, it's almost hitting the rail. And I'm just going to push my dampener back on there and then just put it on there like so. All right, so we inspect this, and as you can see that the string is somewhat bent. So now what we're going to have to do is take this back off and to readjust these because these come awful tight to the string. And what they do on these is that if, you, if they're too tight and the string is very bowed, what you have to do is cut these. There's a line right here that you have to trim these off. So we're gonna head on over to the workbench and get these trimmed off. Okay, we came back from the workbench and we got these cut off, as you can see on the longer rods, how they had the groove in here, like I explained. And then what we did was just cut off the tops of these because they do have grooves in here for the dampener. So you could see the how the, the grooves are. You just cut off the top like we did on these. And they were very simple to cut off. All we did was use a hacksaw. And then all I did was file the tops down and get all the burrs off of it. And then all we're going to do is insert these back into your bracket. And I have a helper out here with me tonight. So uh, when we get finished up here, I'll, I'll introduce you to them. And what we're going to do, we're going to probably take these all the way down to the ends. Because then what you could do is just fine tune it then. Okay, once you got your second one in, then all you're going to do is get your dampeners again. Make sure you realign them up again to, with the string orientation. And you're just going to push them on. And as you can see now, the string is a lot nicer uh, straight across. And what you want these to just barely be touching. And that looks like it is it. And I could tell that it is just barely touching. So then what we're going to want to do next is take get your set screws. And these are the four little ones in the pack. 
And what we'll do is uh, just get one of them, take one out of the bag. And they already, looks like it comes with a little bit of Loctite on them. And we're just going to insert these into the bracket to hold these, these arms on. And there's four of them, so you want to do two on each arm. So I'm going to finish this up, and I'll be right back. All right, we got our string dampening system on. As you can see, my string is perfectly straight across. I will have to give this a little test fire and see how, if it did quiet it down a little bit. Um, if not, if I feel think I could get a little bit quieter, from the string oscillation and the string vibration in that. I'll just have to readjust these, trim these down a little bit more, reinsert the dampeners back on here, and give it another shot. But this is what it looks like when you have them on. For being a compact bow, there's not much here, but we're gonna give this a shot. So my helper's here, but let me let me get him real quick and, and show you, introduce you to him. All right. Here he is. <laughs> Doris, <laughs> say hi to everybody. Well, guys, I hope this video helps you guys out in working on your crossbow and, um, and putting your string dampeners on. Well, till next time, I'm Joe. This is Thor. Driving trucks and hunting bucks is how we roll it. Wicked fast! <laughs>